Welcome back to another episode of Your Tasty Life TV. In today's episode, I have the honor of being with my dear friend, Dr. Cindy Soliday again, to help us uncover, discover more bliss in our life. Mm -hmm. And on this topic today, I wanted to talk about this notion of defeat and mm -hmm. failure and how we often get twisted and tied in knots of not doing that which we want to do. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Cindy, I wanted to kind of poke a little bit into this subject and what has your experience been working with the many clients you've worked with on helping them triumph over tragedy or failure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the hardest, hardest um, aspects of life and living for all of us is that there are going to be inevitable setbacks um, and there are going to be inevitable challenges that we can't mm -hmm. escape. We have to somehow endeavor to persevere and turn every setback into a stepping stone, you know, every challenge into an opportunity, as a lot of the cliches, you know, have said to us. But ultimately, you know what that's really all about, Lisa? Mm, what's that? It's really all about um, making a shift from a victim mentality mm -hmm. into one which says, I will rise and shine victorious right? Mm -hmm. As spiritual warriors having a human experience, I cannot be defeated at the level of spirit. And um, that's probably one of our greatest right. challenges individually, sure. you know, in our we own lives. Right. I mean, wow. And, and variable I, I, parts of our life. Who right. hasn't had deaths and divorces and jobs? It's going to happen. Things with, you know, children. Right. And it, you know, it's like, but you can't, there's, you can't handle what's not coming right. your way. It's, and for you, many, you can't handle that. Right. For many of you, it's a health challenge right now, you know, or it's struggling with those excess, you know, pounds that you're carrying around. And again, mm -hmm. I mean, that's a heavy burden that, that we come to um, bear. But, you know, you have an opportunity with us, with Lisa, in this life. To, to begin to accept it for what it is. Real life sucks sometimes, mm -hmm. right? But no rain, no rainbows, right? right. No winter, no Beautiful spring and summer. summer, right? There are seasons, there are changes, and you have to learn to go with the flow of life and open up and stay open and mm -hmm. um, allow. Right. I think years ago, um, the focus in um, a lot of circles was is on attitude. You got to have an attitude of gratitude, and I think yeah. that's great. And or um, fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it, and mm -hmm. I, I think that's great. Um, or um, attraction, the law of attraction. You got to be really positive, and you got to be all these, you know, um, bright and light and, sure. and delightful things. But for me, and in a more holistic uh, perspective, and in the work that I do with so many people, is just allow, mm -hmm. right? The law of allowing mm -hmm. and letting go and going with the flow and keeping faith over fear, right? right. Keep, important, important lesson you taught me years ago yeah. was to try not to control everything. Right. I would try to maneuver and think about I things. I wouldn't know and, anything about and, being a control And if freak, I do the you? right thing, then I'll get this reaction. Right. If I don't do no. this, I'll get this reaction. Come but guess on. what? You hey. can't make people or other things do that which you want them to do. They're going to do their own journey, right. their own way, right? Right. And so many of the women in particular that I work with come in so frustrated because they can't get their husband or they mm -hmm. can't get their employer or they can't get their kids or they can't get, you know, the world at large to get on board with them for all the different things that they're trying to accomplish and do. But I think if we can just allow mm -hmm. our own journey, allow other people their own journey and take responsibility for our own choices mm -hmm. and know that, you know, no matter how tough life seems. Responsibility. Right, right, right. We have the ability to respond yeah. to life mm -hmm. in ways that are authentic and real. So you got to feel it. If it's awful, let it out. You know what I mean? Right. Allow yourself to go through that process. But somewhere deep inside, we all need to be aware that we have the power, yes. right? In our responsibilities. It is our responsibility mm -hmm. to rise victorious no matter what life brings us and, you know, to find a purpose, sure. a, a, a reason, a season for all things. And um, when we can do that, right, when we begin to understand that it isn't happening to us to punish us or in bad ways or in any way to keep us down or put us down, you know, but um, to help us rise, sure. right? I say this to my clients all the time. I will add this and then um, I'll shut up for a minute, but uh, you know, emotional muscle. I like yeah. to talk about this. We all think, you know, we want to get these tone fit bodies and I think that's awesome. And by the way, you got a really nice one, but you know, you got to lift some weights for that, right? You, you got to do the work. You got it's tough, right? right? You, you know, it takes some 
resistance. It takes a real grit. Training, right? But in emotional and in mental health, it takes resilience training. Uh -huh. And you got to be able to lift those heavy emotional burdens mm -hmm. and weights and let them go. Right. right. And so you're not going to become an emotionally resilient, strong person unless you're willing to embrace those things, to allow that to be a part of your journey and find your inner strength. Excellent. And when you do, you know, you'll be amazed mm -hmm. at all you're really capable of. And then the divine order and reason for why, you know, it happens those, those as it's things meant happen to happen. To you. Right. 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 So a good um, summary here, Dr. Cindy, hmm. I think to wrap up what you were just um, talking about there is. Give our viewers your story on the Wizard of Oz. Oh, we love this we one, love don't this. we? We love this. We did this for years and years. Right. We teach group classes, and no one says it better than Dr. Cindy, so it's take it away. It's still a good one, but I mean, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, no rain, no rainbows, as we've said many times before. And when you take that journey over the rainbow, you know, you meet some friends, you dance on the yellow brick road, mm -hmm. you go to see the wizard, and even a few witches come around. Mm -hmm. We like to focus on the good witches I'm over Glenda. the bad witches. I'm but Glenda. yeah, you know, I'm not going to say who I am. I'll let you figure it out. But the bottom <laughs> line, at the end of the movie, is Dorothy had the power all along. The ruby slippers were on her feet and you know all it's she the needed same. to do was click her ruby slippers. She had it in her all and along. And to believe and to see and to know that all of that happened so that she would have an inner transformation that would lead to something more. And you know that's your journey, that's my journey, that's our journey and um, it can lead to a blissful life and more. Thank you for joining us this week. We'll catch you next week.